psychiatric genetic counselling um, is something that's often quite misunderstood, I think. People have um, some misperceptions about what it might be. So specifically, people, when they hear the phrase psychiatric genetic counselling, tend to think about um, pregnancy, childbearing decisions, and conversations about what are the chances that my son or daughter might have what a psychiatric illness. And those are absolutely things that we can discuss in the context of psychiatric genetic counselling. But we can also do way more than that. For example, um, people who have experiences themselves of psychiatric problems often feel really um, guilty or ashamed about having that illness. Um, they will often feel that perhaps they've done something um, themselves that caused the, the experience that they have, the illness that they have, um, and feel ashamed about that. Um, parents of people with psychiatric problems will worry that perhaps there was something that they did that caused their child to become sick. Um, they might wonder if there's something that they could have done that would have prevented it. Um, so those sorts of guilt and shame and stigma things can be really problematic for people. And those are things that we can address really helpfully in psychiatric genetic counselling. Fundamentally, psychiatric genetic counselling is about helping people to better understand what it is that we know from research about the causes of psychiatric disorders, about how um, genes and environment can work together to contribute to the development of these conditions. And it's about providing um, support and counselling for people around that to address any guilt or shame or stigma that they might be feeling. But in addition, what we can also do is talk with people about strategies they might be able to use to protect their mental health going forward. Um, so for some people that might involve um, things like meditation. For other people, perhaps spending time with a pet, going out for a walk with a dog or so on. We help people to, on an individual basis, to find things that will work for them to protect their mental health. Um, and so this is all, these are all things that genetic counsellors can do.